Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my favourites for the month of March. I know that the lighting right now is really not ideal, but it's kind of the best that I've got to work with due to the fact that daylight savings just ended and I have little to no time to film at the moment. Please excuse just the total array of technical difficulties that I'm encountering at the moment. It's kind of impacting me in more ways than just YouTube. So that was probably my unfavourite for the month of March, my computer conking out on me which happened at the very, very end of March. I think it was actually April, but who really cares? And I'm going to get right into my non-beauty favourites. So my favourite movie for the month would definitely have to be 21 and over. I don't think I really saw any other movies other than that that I can remember that like stood out to me, you know what I mean? But I really did enjoy it. I thought it was really good. Um, it's kind of like The Hangover. It's made by the same people as The Hangover. It's like the same sort of story, like they lose someone pretty much. Um... Uh, except it's like college edition, like hangover college edition pretty much, is what the movie should have been called. Um, I did like it, I thought it was really funny, and it's just a really good kind of like laugh movie, if you want to laugh. It's kind of got, you know, those crude generic jokes in it, but you know, a movie's a movie and I enjoyed it. So yeah, if you guys had the opportunity to, I think it might actually be out of the cinemas, but if you get the chance to catch it, definitely do because I thought it was worth a watch. Next favourite is my favourite TV show of the month. Now. I haven't been really been watching that much TV. I can't really remember what I have been watching, to be completely honest with you guys, but near to the start of the month, I was watching a lot of anime. Um, I, in the past couple of weeks, have been watching a lot of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I think it was actually, it was Courtney and Kim Take Miami, but yeah, I'm also watching all of my TV shows are just on rotation, like Bones and New Girl and all that sort of thing, which is really great, and How I Met Your Mother and everything, so don't really have like an overall standout. I've just been watching quite a lot of TV this past month, um, but not now because my main source of TV has been destroyed, which is unfortunate, but what can you do? In the way of my favourite game, I have definitely still been loving Clash of Clans. I can't remember if I mentioned it last month or if it was the month before that, but Clash of Clans is my jam. I absolutely love it. It is such a great, great game to play if you guys have an iOS device. I'm not too sure if it's on Android, but if it is, definitely check it out. It's kind of like s selected to a sort of like niche of people, like if you're not really into like... It's kind of like Age of Empires-esque, where you have like, you build an army and you invade people. It's really really fun, you know, but I mean if you're like not really into that kind of thing, it probably would not interest you in the slightest, but I absolutely love it and I cannot wait to keep playing it and if you guys play it let me know and I'll see if I can like add you or something on there. Okay so on to the makeup favourites. I have two nail polish favourites. I've already mentioned them but since I've been on practicum these have just been a godsend because I don't like coming home and having to take my nail polish off every day but because these are so sheer I can kind of get away with wearing them for more than one day. These you know because they chip because I have to like do stuff for kids. Anyways, these are basically just iridescent nail polishes as you guys can see. They kind of shift colours. Like it goes from like white to pink to blue. This one kind of goes green to white to blue. And these are both by Sally Hansen Salon Manicure. I've got Striker Pose and Paparazzi. You guys can't really see, I'm so sorry. Look at my guns, just kidding, there's not even any muscle. No muscle. It's just like straight. <laughs> anyway, I got these for like five, six-ish dollars from Posty Plus. Definitely a great bargain. They're full size. They're like just about 15 mils of product, which is like the generic size for a nail polish. Great quality, and I'm going to repaint my nails with paparazzi as soon as I finish filming, because I'd prefer this one for some reason. Next, I just wanted to mention that I've absolutely been loving all of my EXO Beauty brushes. I will leave a link down below to the website um, and to my review on it if you guys want to check that out, because I absolutely love them. I think they are amazing. I've been using them every single day. The only real brush that I've been using, other than like a couple that aren't by EXO Beauty, has been my Sigma Blending E25 brush. I recently got this brush, and I think it is just so good. Like when I first got it, I was kind of like, it's really average, it's just your average brush. But then I kind of realised that it had like, n not like, I don't even know what the word is, like wiggled its way into my daily routine and I use it every single day for all of my eye makeup, like without fail. I'd just be gravitating towards that brush and I was like this is like a perfect brush for me because I really, if you guys can, you probably can't even see it, it's like I've no, got no makeup on because I just got home from practicum but I basically just did like a shimmery champagne over the lid, a dark brown in the crease and I used all that brush and it blends perfectly, applies everything perfectly. I just think it's ideal. If you guys know of a brush that is like the Sigma E25 or the MAC 217, please let me know. 
like for a cheaper price obviously and I will check it out because I would like to have more than one of these in my collection. My next favourite has definitely been my Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream in the colour Fair. If you guys didn't know, I haven't actually formally announced it on my channel. I've been meaning to for ages but I just keep forgetting. I'm actually a Maybelline beauty vlogger which means that I create videos for Maybelline to put onto their YouTube channel. I will have their YouTube channel listed down below because I actually upload videos to their channel that don't go up on this channel. So I've done two tutorials for them that I chose not to put on this channel. So... Anyhow, I did a video, like a campaign video, on the Dream Fresh BB Cream, and they sent me one, and I literally tried it, and I hated it. I thought it was the most terrible product. I was like, great, I'm going to have to lie to everyone and say that I love it, but I tried it again, and I powdered my face. I did my whole routine, and it was just the most beautiful, natural finish. Like, I had a fair bit of concealer and a fair bit of powder on, but just having this as the base really helped, and I think that the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, which I also have been using, like, non-stop since I got it, Mine's in the colour medium 0 to 1. Like the combination of these two, like this is nice and dewy but very, very light. This is quite mattifying but medium coverage. So they kind of combine to make the perfect kind of like medium everyday coverage. And in combination with concealer, you do look really, really nice. So I thought that this was going to be bad, but I really do like it. Mine's in fair. I don't know if I said that, but they are honestly a match made in heaven and I absolutely love them. These three are all new products. So the first one is my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I bought this from Hiko Senkara um, at the start of, at the end, the very very end, I received it at the end of February so I didn't get to mention it. And this is in the colour dark, it just looks like this. I'm sure you guys are all really familiar with it, especially if you also follow Shannon's videos. She loves this thing. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it's just the most perfect thing ever. I still do use a brow gel, like a spoolied, um, like a brow gel like this, um, along with it, like it doesn't hold my brows in place, but the colour is just amazing and it doesn't fade at all throughout the day. I mean, if you guys had like maybe less thick brows, it would fade, but on me, it doesn't fade whatsoever. It's just the perfect colour. It is actually darker than my hair at the moment, like if you guys can see, my hair is quite light, I need to re-dye it, but it actually is a really, really pretty colour and I think it looks really flattering. I'm actually having a really good brow day today, I don't even care. What do you guys think? I woke up and I was like, my brows look fabulous. Another favourite that I have that I also got from Hikosin Kara is the Under the Eye Light Concealer. And this is basically a illuminating kind of, oh, I'm so sorry about the lighting, pink tone concealer. It's in a little squeeze tube. You kind of just like squeeze it and then it kind of comes out. It's just sort of like a, not, I wouldn't say pearlescent, but it's like a pink kind of colour. And I just sort of squeeze that underneath my eyes, blend that out with a brush. And if I'm going for a really natural look, it's enough. Otherwise, I'll put a tiny bit of concealer over the top, and I think it looks really beautiful. I think it goes perfectly with BB creams, because it recommends to apply it underneath your BB cream, and if you do that, you just look so, so, like, lovely. I love it so much. I think it's a great product. Um, I haven't been using it as much lately, because as you guys can possibly see, I kind of have a lot of skin problems, and I've been wearing kind of more foundation, which is kind of counterproductive, but... That's not what we're talking about right now. But yeah, I've been wearing more high coverage and this doesn't really make as much of an impact. But if you're going for a light routine, this is great. This is the Leo Ellie Under the Eye Light Concealer. My final favourite for the month is the Model Co. Black Eyeliner. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I got it in my sample bar. Glam Pack. And when I got it, I was kind of like, this is, I like swatched it and I was like, oh, it's really, really black. But it's also really like smudgy. And I thought for that reason, it would like smudge around on the waterline like nobody's business. It kind of does a little bit. Like by the end of the day, you might have like a little bit out here, but it still, it holds really, really well on the waterline. And it also kind of sticks to the surface that you put it. So like if you tight line and you don't put anything on the bottom, you get very, very minimal kind of like rub off. I really like this. It's $25, so it might not be the most affordable eyeliner on the market. I don't know whether I'd recommend it to you guys. The fact that I have it, I love it, but... I don't know how much other people will love it, but definitely give it a swatch. I do think it's great. Yeah, I really hate making product recommendations, um, because I hate for you guys to be like, I hate you, I hated the product, you wasted me $25, send me a check, eh. So, <laughs> I try to avoid doing product recommendations, but I guess that's what favourites are about. But yeah, I do like this, and... Alright, so before I finish up, I just wanted to give an honourable mention to my Yeast to Carrots Mint Lip Balm that I lost for literally... God no, like a month and a half. I think I got it halfway through February. I used it for a week, fell in love with it, then I lost it, and it was just down the side of my bedside table. So I found it, and I've been using it, and I just love this stuff. It's such a nice lip balm. I think it's about maximum eight dollars. It's really, really good, and I'd recommend it if you're in the market for a lip balm. I have mine in the scent mint. My boyfriend has one in the scent berry. 
the scents really don't do anything different for your lips, not that I've really noticed, but it's really it's a really really nice lip balm slash lip butter product. Definitely give it a go. Alright guys, that is it for my favourites for the month of March. I'm sorry again that they are a bit late and that the lighting is a bit kind of wonky, but can't really do anything else about it. Um, I do have a massive haul coming for you guys because my mum just got back from Australia and she bought me quite a lot of stuff and I also have bought some stuff myself and I've also got makeup coming to me in the mail. So yes, going to have a nice haul for you guys and a lot of makeup for me to use so I can't wait. I'll also be filming a getting ready video with that makeup that will go up after the haul and I've also got a bunch of reviews coming up. I've got so many videos on my agenda and I have no time to film. It's so sad but we'll get there in the end. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!